Hello, I'm Sari Cornwell, Technology Training Librarian with the Athens County Public Libraries with a special video conferencing tech tip for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect to a meeting using Zoom. And I've got some help from my friend Heather and Pickle, who's got their helmet on ready to Zoom. In our presentation today, we will start with a meeting invitation that you'll receive via email to join a Zoom meeting. Now many community organizations, local governments, and even family and friends are using Zoom to connect. So in this presentation, we'll not only show you how to connect to a meeting, but show you how to use some of the meeting controls. I will be using my Windows-based PC computer. However, if you are connecting with other devices, uh, either on a tablet, Android, or Apple phone, the format may look a little different, however, the meeting controls will work in a similar manner. I hope you enjoy our presentation today. All right, we're going to go ahead and join a Zoom meeting. I've got my invitation here in my email, which includes a link, as well as a meeting ID and a passcode. So I'm going to click on my link here, and it is opening up, and it says Open Zoom Meetings. And so what happens is, is this is a system dialog prompt, and the page is telling me that when the dialog prompts, click Open Zoom Meetings. And then it's saying, if you have the Zoom client installed, launch meeting. Otherwise, download and run Zoom. So in this case, I have Zoom already downloaded on my computer. So I'm going to do Open Zoom Meetings. And we're going to wait for Zoom to open up into our pre-setup meeting. Again, we're joining as a participant. All right. And then we have this video preview. So you can see me here. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and join with video since we know our video is working and uh, we're ready to join with our fresh face. Okay. And now it's saying, please wait. The host will let us in. All right. Connecting. All right. And I'm going to choose to join with computer audio. So it's saying you are using computer audio. And here's Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Sari. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> yeah, I know you've been really busy. There's uh, a lot of fun programs going on with the library, a lot of remote type of things. So thanks for taking the time to uh, Zoom with me. Of course. Yeah. Um, have you heard uh, about a program that Todd's doing? Yeah, Todd's doing an online story time. Typically, he will do um, story times in the library, but now that we have moved things virtually, he has shifted that to um, a pre-recorded online story time, and it's it's geared towards adults, and he uploads that to Facebook and YouTube. Oh, awesome. Do you know when the next one's going to be uploaded? The next one will be uploaded on September 1st at 6 p.m. Oh, wow. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah, so if any of you are watching this after that time, um, if you can't find it on Facebook, then you can check out our YouTube also. Well, that's great. Oh, I'm so excited. So yeah, we have a lot of cool programs going on at the library um, that are happening remotely, so you can enjoy uh, them in your own home. I know that a lot of community groups are also having meetings online, so I thought we'd have this little meeting together so I could talk a little bit about some of our meeting controls. So I've got Ooh. Heather here, and I've got uh, Pickle, who's on there with Eric. Um, to show you how uh, some of the different meeting controls work in Zoom. So, um, Heather, feel free to ask questions uh, as I go, but uh, here we go. So, okay. um, the meeting controls are hidden right now initially, but whenever I go to move my mouse, you see my arrow moving around the screen, then the meeting controls show up here at the bottom of the screen. There's a horizontal bar. And the most important ones I want to show you are in the bottom left corner. There's something that says mute and then stop video. So it's important to know that these are buttons and the buttons actually say the thing that they're going to do. So since it says mute, um, you can actually see there is a green line that's picking up my audio. So that means that if I push on it, I'm going to go ahead and push on it, Heather. Okay. Then I have a red slash through there and then it's saying you're muted. Um, so it's telling me the keyboard shortcut, but Heather, Heather can't hear me right now as I'm talking. Uh, so if your icon looks like that, you can click on it and there you can unmute yourself. Can you hear me, Heather? I can hear you. Awesome. 
Okay, and then next to it, there's this little up arrow, a carrot. So say, for example, you're having some problems with your audio. I'm going to open it. There's actually a lot of different options. So if you have multiple microphones or other speakers, uh, you can select those too. But most of you won't need to do those settings. The other part is we have something here that's called it says stop video. So I am on video right now. The way I can tell is if I look up at our view right now, I'm that little square up there talking. So I know my video is on. Uh, if I want to stop the video, then I click on stop video. And it actually will show uh, for me, it'll show my name there. Or if you have a profile photo, it may show your profile photo. Um, same thing. There's a bunch of different options there. If you have multiple potential cameras and then I click on it to start my video back up again. It takes just a moment to come back up. Now, uh, we're not going to do it yet, but I want to zoom on over <laughs> zoom to the <laughs> bottom right. And there is a button for leave the meeting. We'll, of course, hold that one for the end, but I want you to know it is there. So if you need to leave the meeting, uh, it is there in the bottom right. And now these other things here in the bottom, most of these um, you won't necessarily need during your meetings if you're just coming in as a participant. I think the most significant one here is chat. And if I click on chat, what that does is for me, it opens up a chat box right here in the middle of the screen. And so what I can do is I can actually type a message to everyone here in our meeting. Oh, and there's Heather. Or I can even type a secret message to Heather and it says privately. So you can actually communicate with other participants in the meeting one on one and not through the whole group. Um, you can even share files through this as long as um, you know that's enabled. So <clears throat> there's these three dots here. Anytime you see three dots, that often means that it goes to a menu or shows more options. Um, so here there's an option to actually save the chat or you can merge to meeting window. I like to do that because then that stuck my chat box all the way over here on the right. And if I want to close the chat, there's this little arrow pointing down. I can either close it or I can pop it out where it goes right back in the middle and I can close it by clicking on the X. I can also see the participant list and the same thing. It pops up here on the right hand side so you can see um, the different participants. And then I also have the option to close it or pop it out. Now I want to show you there is a couple other things called record and reactions. So reactions, you can clap your hands or give a thumbs up. Um, so uh, the other thing I want to show you is there's a record. Yeah, mine doesn't button. say that on there at all. Hmm. That brings up a very good point while we're doing these tutorials. Sometimes everything is not going to look exactly the same. And we yeah, because what you were describing about your little picture, mm -hmm. mine is all three of us are exactly the same size. Oh, oh, you know what that is? That's actually something called gallery view. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually in the presenter view. So if I go to the top right corner, there's something that says gallery view. And remember, it'll do the thing it says if I click on it. So I'm going to click on it. And then now I'm here in gallery view. So now I do see, this is where people call it, you know, the Hollywood squares, you know, where everybody's in their own oh. tiles. And then you'll see whenever I'm speaking, I'm outlined in green. And then when Heather's speaking, she'll be outlined in green next. <laughs> Pickle, Pickle doesn't have much to say though. So I'm going to exit full screen and come back to speaker view here. And, um, the other thing I'm going to show you is, I think I was about to, there's a record button. And I want to show you, if you're in a community meeting and you're worried about somebody recording videos, people actually have to get request uh, permission from the host. So I actually cannot record this since Heather set it up and she put some controls to wrangle me in. <laughs> now, the other thing I want to show you is if the host enables it, you can share your computer screen. So that's the one thing here in the middle I haven't talked about yet. So Heather, I'm going to go ahead and show how I can share my computer screen. Um, what you do is it gives you options of what you can share. So you can share your whole screen or you can share some of the different applications, which may be open. Uh, right here, I'm going to share uh, some photos. Um, Heather, did you hear about the new mural? Oh, yeah, that's the new mural at the Athens Public Library. Um, because we already have those famous Passion Works flowers, like the one Pickle is wearing. Oh, yeah. Amy, our branch manager, contacted Patty from Passionworks, and they decided to have the group members paint a mural 
in our kids section of the library. So the group members did the outline that you see, and then the volunteers and workers of Passion Works filled it in with color. We also have a giant bird named Jazz hanging from the children's book stacks who's wearing a mask, which is also from Passion Works. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jazz must be huge. He's very huge. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's great to see the progress. And then if anybody, you know, wants to stop in the library and see the new mural, it's there. Great. Cool. Thanks for telling me about that. Of course. Yeah. Well, I think that was most of the meeting controls that I can think of. Uh, I don't think I have anything else. Do you, Heather? I don't have any questions. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for exploring Zoom with me. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, thanks. Yeah. And yeah, make sure you all check out our library at www.myacpl.org so you can check out lots of great programming and also find links to our YouTube videos where you can find tech tips and some of our story hours. <laughs> all right, Heather, will you take care and I'll see you again you soon. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.